Leandro Luxin was a Filipino architect, an artist, and an interior designer who's known for his use of concrete, floating volume, and simplicity in design. Leandro was the first Filipino architect that truly made an international reputation. <clears throat> At the height of his career in the late 70s, national artist Leandro Luxin was the most influential architect in Southeast Asia. To the people of the Philippines, Luxin's prestige has never been in doubt. His modernist buildings, which combines a monumental solidity with a graceful lyricism of line and motif, had been celebrated ever since his first major commission was unveiled in 1956. From 1955 to 1994, Luxin has produced more than a hundred of structures all over the country. He had always believed that the true Philippine architecture is the product of two great streams of culture, the Oriental and Occidental, to produce a new object of profound harmony. The National Theater, or what we call Tanghalang Pambansa, is a flagship venue and principal offices of the Cultural Center of the Philippines. It is formally called the Theater of Performing Arts and it houses three major performing venues. One theater for film screenings and galleries, a museum, and the center's library and archives. It is a government-owned and controlled corporation established to preserve, develop, and promote arts and culture in the Philippines. Tanghalan is a primary example of the architect's signature stole, style known as the floating volume, a trait which can be seen in structures indigenous to the Philippines such as the Nipahat. The facade of the Tanghalang Pambansa is dominated by a two-story travertine block suspended 12 meters high by deep concave cantilevers on three sides. The rest of the structure is clad in concrete, textured by crushed seashells originally found in the reclamation site. The Philippine International Convention Center is located in the Cultural Center of the Philippines, Pasay Complex, Metro Manila, and has been the host of numerous local and foreign conventions, meetings, fairs, and social events. Leandro Luxin used brutalism for the architectural style of the convention center, and it has a floor area of more than 65,000 square feet. The construction of the PICC complex was undertaken in a short span of 23 months. The PICC is compared of five building modules, the Delegation Building, the Secretariat Building, the Plenary Hall, and the Forum. The PICC along with other buildings in the Center Cultural of the Philippines complex has been associated with what has been termed Imelda Marcus as Edifice Complex which one writer defined as an obsession and compulsion to build edifices as a hallmark of greatness or as a signifier of national prosperity. Fox Art Theater is a theater located in the CCP complex Manila and it is covered proscenium amphitheater owned by the Cultural Center of the Philippines that was a popular venue for concerts during the 1980s and 1990s. The theater was named after the Filipino poet Francisco Balagtas and has a seating capacity of 8,458 in 10 sections and features a broad fascia with a single column-to-column -column span of 80 meters. The Tanghalan was commissioned by then First Lady Imelda Marcus in 1974 for the Miss Universe pageant which was to be held in Manila for the first time. It was built in record time of 77 days in time for the pageant and was designed by Leandro Biloxin. It was originally built to seat an audience of 10,000, though it was not air-conditioned, but it was designed to allow natural breeze to flow through. The structure was described as a shelter plaza with a roof that appears to float, creating the impression that the building is a dream on one's tender hands. <laughs> 